Hey guys, this is Stacy from eatthebite.com, and today I'm making stuffed chicken breast with roasted tomatoes, goat cheese, and leeks. Let me show you how to make it. We'll be roasting tomatoes for this one, so first I'm finally dicing some garlic. Then I'm going to core my tomatoes. I'll use my fingers to remove all the seeds and pulp. I'm going to add a pinch of garlic to each tomato half and then drizzle it with olive oil. Next, just take a minute to rub the olive oil and garlic together like you see here, and then we'll season it with salt and pepper. Now we need to cook these in a preheated oven at 400 degrees for about an hour or so. And you can make these the day before if you like and store them in the fridge overnight. We're going to chop some leeks and we're going to use the white and light green part of the leeks for this. So I'll chop off the dark green part and then the little fraggle tops too. I'll slice them into approximately quarter inch rings and then I'll place them in the bowl. Leeks can be pretty dirty so fill the bowl with water and start washing the leeks and separating the rings. Once the leeks are cleaned and drained, we'll melt some olive oil and butter in a pan. After that, we're going to add the leeks to the pan. Then we'll season it with some salt and pepper. Next, just give them a good stir around the pan so the leeks get coated in the olive oil and the butter. You want to stir these a few times during the cooking process, and these will take about 20 to 25 minutes to cook until they're golden brown just like this. I'm shredding some cheese for this one, starting with some fresh Parmesan, then a little bit of white cheddar. Next, I'll put both cheeses in a bowl. Then I'm going to start breaking apart my big log of goat cheese. Then I'm going to add those awesome sautéed leeks to the bowl as well. And it is easier to mix this one with your hands, so I've got my gloves on for this, and I'll start squishing it all together until it looks about like this. We're stuffing chicken, so we need to butterfly it. Just take your knife and carefully slice it down the side until the whole piece lays flat like this. That's it. It's super easy. Slice it down the side carefully, then lay it out flat, and you're done. Once all the chicken is butterflied, we're going to cover each piece in plastic, and then we're going to pound this down to about a quarter of an inch in thickness. You can use a kitchen mallet for this or just a plain old frying pan like I'm doing. We're going to do this for all the chicken breasts, and once you're done, it's time to stuff the chicken. First, we'll add our cheese and leek mixture to the inside of the chicken, and I'm using a quarter cup of the filling for each chicken breast. Then we'll spread it out flat like you see here. We'll add two tomato slices to the top of the cheese and gently fold it closed like this. And let's take a closer look at this. Again, we're going to start by spreading the cheese and leek filling across the chicken like this. We'll add two tomato slices, then gently and carefully fold the chicken over. Once you've done this for all the chicken breasts, we're going to take any remaining cheese filling and put it in a small baking dish. We'll cook this to serve on the side. Next, we'll season the top of the chicken breasts with salt, pepper, and I'm using Herbs de Provence for this, but you could easily use dried thyme or rosemary instead. I've got a pan heating with olive oil, and it's time to sear our chicken. I'll add the chicken to the pan's seasoned side down, like you see here. And then we'll season the other side of the chicken pieces with the salt, pepper, and herbs de Provence as well. I'm searing these on high heat for just a few minutes, long enough so that they get a nice crusty sear. If we crowd the pan with all the chicken, it will create too much steam, and we won't be able to get that nice sear. Once all the chicken pieces get seared, then I'll combine the two pans and finish the chicken in my preheated oven at 375 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. And here's our chicken right out of the oven. I've also got that awesome cheese filling that I'll serve on the side in case anyone wants a little more. While the chicken is resting for a few minutes, I'm chopping some fresh parsley as a garnish. This is optional, but I do think it makes for a nice presentation. So let's take a closer look at our finished product. And now it's time to eat the bite. The chicken was incredibly tender as I cut into it, and let's take a little peek inside here too. If you're familiar with my recipes, you know I love my leeks and the combination of the cheese and the leeks and those incredible roasted tomatoes. We have definitely got a winner winner chicken dinner here. That's all for now guys. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, you'll find this and all the printable recipes over on my website at eatthebite.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. My quarter cup. So I can see a little tear in this one, and you just can't be worried about it. Stuff's going to ooze out, and that's part of the fun. When is oozing not fun? Well, actually, medically, probably not fun to ooze.
Why would, I, why would my brain go there right now? In culinary, in the culinary world, let me clarify. Oozing is almost always good. Get my garlic tomatoes in here. I don't know why my half a teaspoon is. I don't know where anything is right now. Everything's a bloody mess. What is this? Let's have a tablespoon. Half a teaspoon. Here we go. Oh fudge! Now I just got to I just got salt in between my toes. It's fell to the floor and it's in between my toes now. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, these are just the lovely little behind-the-scenes things that you just never really know are happening.